Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the new Bakugan Evolutions um, Core Darkest Nilius. Um, this is just the standard core, it's not a um, platinum or anything, it's, you can just see it's Nilius. Um, yeah, you can see the package is pretty cool, it has Nilius up there. Um, the back of the box, you can pause to read anything, there's a lot of different languages and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's just uh, get this open. Alright, so here we have the, you can see what's included, the two Baku cores, a gate card, character card, the Nilius Bakugan, and a little collection pamphlet. You can see here, um, you've probably seen this before, so no need to really look too closely at it. Um, anyway, let's just get into it. Um, so here's Nilius. Um, as you can see, it's the same as the Geogon Rising mold, so not all too much to see that's new. Um, like the Geogon Rising one, of course, it is really cool. Um, the three heads are molded pretty nicely. You can see there. It all looks pretty nice. Um, each of the heads, unlike certain Bakugan, like um, I think it was Halcor, some of the Halcor versions, they didn't have the heads molded entirely. Here you can see that all three heads are molded on both sides. Looks pretty nice. Um, you can see the feet drop down. Uh, the arms are right there. Uh, there's silver paint here. And then you can see the eye, the claw, the bee power, and these bits on the wings are kind of this interesting sort of almost greenish. It's a little hard to describe. Uh, let's see, I'll change the light a little bit. Yeah, it. It's, it's slightly green, but it's like white. It almost looks like a glow in the dark, but it's not a glow in the dark. Um, and you can see the pink and the black plastic. It's a pretty cool look. Um, I don't think it's my favorite darkest color scheme Bakugan has ever done, but it's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, it's a fold up um, and you can see there's a big tail back here. Um, gear ports on the tail here and here and one on the back. To fold up, fold in the tail, fold in the feet, fold in the uh, side head, Fold in the wing, fold the side head, wing, and then close the front head. Um, and to roll out, you just roll like that. Pretty nice opening. Um, as you can see, 600 B power. Now let's take a look at the cores. Um, two green fist, 150 plus two and 150 plus one. Um, this one is the best B boost in green fist, so this is good. This is just a less good version, so not amazing. Um, the gate card. Um, let's see, what does it say? Y4, gate 28. Um, here are the stats, 600, 300, 0, 500, ne negative 300, 400. Um, so not bad for Pyrus, Green Fist. Yeah, not too interesting. Uh, now let's take a look at the character card. Uh, Darkest Nilius, double Green Fist, 603. Ooh, it's plus 1,000 on Green Fist. Um, so that can get up to what? 1,750 on like this Green Fist, for example. Um, that's actually pretty good, especially for Green Fist. Um, I feel like Green Fist is making a comeback now. Um, they're really giving a lot of new Bakugan Green Fist and giving them insane boosts. Um, so I actually quite think this is, I think this is quite good, especially for Green Fist decks. Um, with all the core subtracting and core swapping and all that with the new stuff, um, it's definitely harder to stick to your core, but Green Fist is one of the easiest ones to stick to because if you also run Chaos, you can use abilities that I think are one cost that are pretty common from even year one that give you a Green Fist. So even if your opponent takes away your core, you can just grab another Green Fist from the field for like one energy. Pretty great. Um, overall, what I think of Darkest Nilius, I think the toy is pretty cool. Um, what's interesting is the plastic is like a charcoal gray. It's not like straight black. Um, like here's a different core Bakugan from even the same year. You can see it's the same color scheme, but it's interesting that this is charcoal black or charcoal gray and this is black. You can see that difference or even like compared to the older color scheme. You can see it's definitely not black. Sorry, this one's a little dusty. Um, you can definitely see the plastic is a lot lighter. Um, so that's interesting, but I, I don't like that as much as the pitch black. I, I wish this was pitch black, but other than that, the toy's pretty cool. Um, and for the game, 
Nilius might actually be pretty viable. I don't know. I think he's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I do recommend this for collectors and maybe even game players. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.